this is the second part of our low power lab. In this part, we will look at the power consumption simulator. So this is a tool that we offer part of our STM32 Cube ID and CubeMX. So this is called actually the PCC, so for power consumption calculator. So this is a great tool you know, in order to get an estimation on the power consumption of your application. So you can define different steps in this tool, like run mode, you know, for several seconds. So like we did, you know, like in the previous, um, you know, like exercise, right? So one second for run mode and then, for example, like five seconds for stop mode. And then the idea is to give so a power consumption for each step and an average power consumption of the overall application. So in this lab, we're going to learn how to open this uh, power consumption simulator, so the power consumption uh, calculator, PCC, and also how to use it. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, we're going to reopen the IOC file, so our, you know, like STM32 CubeMX uh, perspective. So double click on the IOC file, so lowpower.ioc, and this will open the, uh, basically the device configuration tool, you know, so and then once uh, it's asked, so there will be like a window asking to switch perspective, then you want to click yes. Okay, so we're going to click, this is the IOC file right there, double click on it. This will open, you know, the CubeMX part, the graphical interface. To access the power consumption calculator tool, so the PCC, so here is where we find it. Uh, you want to click on the tools tab, so that's the one on the right hand side, and then click on PCC right there. So tools right here, as you can see, so that's right there. And then PCC, so that's the already selected. So this is our power consumption calculator tool. Okay, so here are your steps right there. So by default, you have one step for run mode, a second step for stop to mode. You can add some steps if you want. So for example, if you want to add a standby mode, uh, I don't know, like uh, shutdown or sleep mode. So you can add this. Uh, so usually, you know, the parameters are the following. So the voltage at which, you know, we are operating, the range, especially for the run mode. So that's very important. Uh, and then the rest, you know, like we'll see also, of, of course, the CPU uh, speed for run mode. So that's important. The different configuration for the memory, you know, with the flash accelerator enabled or not. Uh, all the IPs that you can select because every IP or every peripheral will have some contribution in terms of power consumption. So this is something that we can set up. And basically it will give you like a step power consumption and you can define the duration of the step. So by default, as you can see, we have a configuration of the following. So it will be in run mode for 10% of the time and the rest of the time will be in stop to mode. So this is like a 10% duty cycle type of application and you can adjust, you know, this. And that's what we're going to do in this, uh, this lab. We're going to adjust, you know, this power consumption tool according to what we did on the first uh, part of the low power uh, exercise lab. So we'll be for one second in run mode and with the configuration that we did, you know, in uh, run mode for the first part of the lab. And then the rest of the time will be in stop to mode. So like we did, you know, like uh, before. So let's do that. So we're going to start by the run mode. So by uh, configuring the run mode. So to do this in the step or in the mode, you double click on run. This will open a window where we can do the configuration of this step. So this is the window that you will get once you double click on run mode. So this is where you can edit the step. First, we're going to change the CPU to 16 megahertz. So because this is, you know, the speed at what you run after reset. So that's what we had, you know, configured in our project. Then we'll select the clock configuration right there. So we're using MSI with ART. So ART, this is the flash accelerator. So this is what is used, you know, by default. So, 
and uh, we'll use the full uh, RAM retention for the step duration. This will be one second. And then, so you're going to enable the IPs from the pinout. So this will look at the configuration of our project that we defined, you know, in the first part. And we'll use, you know, the same IPs that were uh, used in our project. So we'll do that. Click on Enable IPs from Pinout. And then you can click OK. And we are done with the run mode. OK, so double click on this mode right there. So this open this window right here. And let's do our configuration. So first we said 16 megahertz. So this is what we run in the first part of the lab for run mode. And then for the clock, we're going to use the MSI ART all RAM retention. So this is also what we use in our project earlier. For the duration, so what we want to do, so let's expand a little bit here like that. Okay, so duration, one second. So I'm going to change this two to one second. All right. And now we enable the IPs from the pinout. So that imports all the IPs that we used in our project. And we are done. So click OK. We're done with run mode. Moving on to stop to mode. So now we're going to double click on the stop to mode and we're going to configure it. OK, first we're going to select the clock configuration. So remember, we're using the LSC. And actually, uh, so by default, it's actually the load drive that has been selected. So we didn't really configure it because we use the default mode. And that's okay with the crystal that is on the disco wicket. So this is the configuration we used and we add the RTC enabled and all RAM retention. So this is the clock configuration. And then we select the step duration to five seconds. And same thing, we're going to enable the IPs that are used, you know, from our IOC file. Like this, we are very close, you know, to what we did in the first part. Then click OK. We are done with the stop to mode configuration. Double click on stop to mode. This will open a new window. Okay, so let's expand a little bit uh, to see everything from there. All right, stop to mode. First, let's configure the clock. So we are in LSC, low drive, RTC, all run retention. And then for the duration, so expand a little bit here, we're going to set it to five seconds. Same thing, we enable the IPs from the pinout and then click OK. And we are done with the stop to mode configuration. Now let's analyze the results. So what do we learn? We have the power consumption per steps. So here, for example, in run mode. So we are consuming 1.44 milliamp. OK. In the stop to mode, we are consuming 985 nanoamp, so below one microamp. So this is ultra low power. In the lower right corner right here, we have the average power consumption of our application. So overall, you know, run mode and stop to mode. So we are at 240 microamp. So in the diagram here, we have in dark blue uh, the current consumption per step. So as you can see here for one second, we're in run mode. So consuming about like 1.44 uh, milliamp. And then we go to stop to mode for five seconds. Right. And very, very low power right there. And then so last results will be in uh, light blue. We have the average consumption. So current consumption. And we are around like 240 microamp. So as you can see, this tool is very powerful and can be very useful, you know, if you have like to define your power budget for your application. So this gives you a good uh, estimation. 
Okay, and basically we are done with uh, our lab, our low power lab. So what you can do is clean your project. So right click on your low power project, clean the project. And then once it's clean, we can close the project. And that concludes our low power lab.